Hello, and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our Tiny Gift Box Frog Add-on. And what this little add-on does is it turns our Tiny Gift Box into a frog. We have a ton of critters for our Tiny Gift Box, and I'm so excited that we have a frog now. In this video, we're gonna show you how to make a little frog box, and we're also gonna show you how to use this die without the box too. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here are all of the pieces that come in this die set. We have our frog face. Here are two little cute eyeballs. There's two ways to use the eyes. Some rosy cheeks, a little backer piece to fill in the eyes and mouth, a little belly, some back legs. We also have the front legs, these cute little spots I'll show you how to use in a little bit, and a glittery crown. First, we're gonna work with the little eyeballs in this set. So you'll see there's one that we cut out of white that has the actual eye shape, and then there's just plain circles we cut out of black. And so we're gonna layer the white circle on top of the black circle, and that black is gonna fill in that little eye area, and it's gonna look really, really cute. Then next up, we have this piece that goes along the back. And what this does is fill in the eyes and the mouth. So it's just a quick and easy way to do that. So I'm gonna add some liquid glue with the glue tube around his eyes and mouth, and then just lay that piece right along the back. And now you can see that both the eyes and the mouth have filled in with that black cardstock. Now to add some color to the little spots that come on the back legs, I have just cut a little tiny square of cilantro cardstock and we're gonna lay layer that behind this noble fur cardstock. And that's gonna fill in those little spots. I'll show you a tone on tone way to do it in just a little bit. Now in this case, we're gonna add the little belly onto this guy, which is super cute. And as you can see, you can leave the eyes this way or you can layer on these other eyes. It's just two different styles. So here, I love these because they're nice and bold and just makes them look like this cute little cartoon. So we're gonna layer those right onto the frog face. And then I'm gonna layer these tiny little rosy cheeks we cut out of ballet slippers cardstock right underneath the eyes. The final step for his face is to add a little crown cut out of some gold sparkle cardstock. Now we're gonna work on another frog face and show you the different style of eyes and the different style of belly that you can do. So we're gonna layer that black piece, that rounded rectangle behind the eyes and the mouth, and that's the only thing we're gonna do for that part of the frog. Then we have those cute little spots there, so we're gonna actually lay those in the corners of this frog face, so in the bottom corners. So I'm just gonna hold that in place with some tape. We'll run it through the die cut machine. It's gonna give us some holes cut there, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. And now this is just a different detail, so instead of adding that little green belly, now we've got those cute little spots at the bottom. I decided I wanted those spots to stand out even more and not just have a tone on tone look, so I'm layering that lighter colored cilantro cardstock with just a little strip cut out of some scraps that I had. I'm just gonna layer those behind those spots and now it's gonna make those spots really stand out, which is super, super cute. So the next step is to start forming our tiny gift box. So this is that tiny gift box die and I've die cut it out of that noble fur cardstock, which is the same cardstock that most of the frog was cut out of. And this is nice and easy to do. The die creates score lines for you and we're just gonna fold along all of those score lines to create the box. And I love this tiny gift box so much. It's perfect for tiny little chocolates or little treats like that. But the way I really love to use it is when I buy a gift card online, you know how you have to print it out from like an email or from something on the website? And always feels like a little not too exciting because it's not a real gift card it's just this printout I like to take those I print them out and fold them up and put them inside these cute little boxes and then I make the box to be the person's favorite animal so in this case it could be a frog we have a unicorn a horse a duck a cat we have all these cute critters so they're just so much fun to play with so you'll see here I folded along all the score lines and I'm adding some nice strong double stick tape to those four tabs now that we have the tape on there, we can start to form the box. So it's pretty easy to see how that box is gonna to come together. We're gonna to line up those edges, and then I just press along the inside to secure that tape into place. Then all we need to do is close this cute little box and we can start to decorate it. I really like using liquid glue to decorate these boxes because it's nice and strong. So I'm gonna add that liquid glue to the front and layer that cute little frog face right on top. I just, oh my gosh, it's just so cute. Oh my goodness, I just love them. I have all these guys cut out all the different critters and have them on my desk because they're so fun to look at. Now for the little back legs, the die actually has a little score line on it. And so you can see that little score line is gonna cut there with the die or it's gonna emboss. And you can fold right along that to kind of give that foot a little appearance of it being flat on the ground. So you'll see how that works. We're gonna add some liquid glue to the leg. And then you're gonna line up the back of the leg with the back of the box. And then that little foot there is gonna be folded out. So we're gonna do that on the other side. We'll just layer that right on, lining up the back of the leg with the back of the box. And now we've got those cute little folded out frog legs. 
Now for the front, we have these other little legs here. I like putting a drop of glue on the edge of the foot, and then I actually lay the box right on top. I find this to be the easiest way to line them up and have them in the exact placement that I want them. Then I can go ahead and repeat the other side and kind of make them even. So I'll just lay that and lay the box right on top and let that glue dry. And now you can see our adorable little frog box is all done and we're gonna work on the other one. So we're gonna fold along all of those score lines again. We'll add our double-sided tape to those four tabs and then we can start to form the box, making sure to press so that everything is nice and secure. We'll close up the box and now we can start to decorate this in the different style of frog. So once again, I'm using that glue tube, adding a bunch of glue to the front of the box and we're gonna layer the other style of frog face on. Now this time I'm going to take those legs and I'm not putting any of that lighter colored green cardstock behind it. I'm just layering it right onto the box and you'll see it has a nice tone on tone look and I really like that look too. So it's more just what you're kind of going for for your frog. And we'll layer the leg on the other side and then we're going to attach the front legs in the same way. So we're going to add a little drop of glue and then we can just layer that right on. So I just kind of put that box right on top and this I find is the easiest way to have them just turn out exactly how I want them. And now we can take a look at our two cute little frog boxes. You can see the different styles of eyes and belly. You can mix and match these in all different ways and they just turn out so cute and adorable. And of course you can open them up and hide little treats inside or those little gift card idea that I just love to do. And I think these guys are so fun. I really like the idea of mixing him with our ladybug one that came out last year. He also looks really cute with the ladybug and leaf dye, the big leaf. He looks adorable with that as well. Next up, Shari is gonna show us how to use this tiny gift box frog add-on without the tiny gift box. She's gonna use them on a card front, and I love this idea because I love that you can make boxes, but you can also do a cute card too. So I'm gonna be creating a card using the tiny gift box frog add-on. So rather than a box, these are gonna be on a card. I'm gonna make two frogs. I've got two cut out here, one from cilantro cardstock and one from peacock cardstock so that I have two different colored frogs. I'm gonna layer that black rectangle behind each of them so it fills in the eyes and the mouth. And for one of these, this peacock colored one that I have here, I'm gonna give that one the big eyes that the die cuts out. So I've cut the front part of the eye out of white and the back part out of black and I'm just gonna layer those black circles behind the white ones. Just with a few little dots of glue. And then I've got a little belly here for these frogs. So this is cut out of a mermaid cardstock and both of these have the same colored little belly. I'm gonna add those big eyes to this frog here on the left. And then I've also got their little feet. I'm gonna add those as well. The frog here on the right is gonna get some little cheeks. So this is my girl frog. And the one on the left is the boy frog. So she's gonna get a little glittery gold crown as well. And I'm pulling out the little feet. These are the little front feet for the frogs. There's a little score line. I'm gonna fold it on that score line. And then put a little dot of glue at the top and layer these on the back side. So these feet are gonna kind of stick out a little bit. And I'm just going to eliminate the back legs that come in that die set. Those work really well on the box, but for my card, that's just gonna be too many things to put together because these are gonna be beside each other on the card and it's just much cleaner without that second set of legs for my frogs. I've got a piece of Rainforest cardstock and a piece of Shimmer cardstock. That's that light teal color. And I'm gonna use the Stitched Pond. This is the outside in Stitched Pond. I'm gonna cut that shimmery cardstock with that Stitched Pond and this is where my little frogs are gonna sit. These are both cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. So the size of the front of a card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this rainforest panel onto this card base. I could have also just made the card base out of the rainforest cardstock, but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do just yet. And then I'm gonna add my pond. You could also cut that pond 
out of that reinforced cardstock and inlay it and then you'd get two stitching details. That was why I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, um, but I decided just to put the pawn directly on that card base. I've used the birch tree dies and cut some brown cardstock. This is going to be a long log for my two little frogs to sit on. So you can see I've just kind of got them placed where I want them. This log is going to come off the right side of the card and cross over into the pond. And then now I can place my little frogs on my log. And then I've used some of the cattails and the grasses from the stitched pawn frame die set to cut some cilantro cardstock and some noble fir cardstock to put some cattails and some grass around my pond to decorate. So you can see I've just got those placed around where I want them and then I'm just picking them up and adding a little bit of liquid glue to glue them down in place. I like the mixture of the two colors of green. It adds some more interest and some more dimension to this little scene. And I'm kind of changing my mind where I want those grasses just a little bit as I work my way around. So some I'm moving around and filling it in. I moved this one over because I wanted to fill in the space that I kind of made between those two cattails to make that look more full. And then I decided to use the rule of three. So I've got three clusters of grass rather than four. And I just think that balances things out a little bit better. This little last one I'm tucking behind that pond. And then I've cut the tops of these cattails out of some brown glitter cardstock. So I just think this is a fun added element to have those glittery cattails. Kind of goes with her glittery crown. And then I've got some tiny little hearts cut from some guava cardstock. And I'm just going to add those to the top because these two little frogs are in love, obviously. And then I'm going to add some white gel pen details to these die cuts to kind of make them stand out just a little bit more. And then this is my finished card and I just think it is so cute. Thank you so much for showing us how to create that adorable card, Shari. I just love it so much. And next up, we have some gorgeous projects from the design team. And Audrey created the cutest little frog box. I love that she added inking and also her own little spots using markers. The googly eyes are also a perfect touch. I just love how this little guy turned out. Here, Lynette decided to use this guy on a card front too, but she also used the legs on the front. And I think that looks so fun. And I love how she combined it with the Bayou backdrop. Here, this one by Megan is so sweet. I love that she made a shadow box card and that she used the your unforgettable sentiment. It's so funny and cute. And then here, Grace got super creative and combined this with the reveal wheel. So as you spin that wheel, you can see that all these different sentiments come up and it looks like the frog is holding the box. This is so clever and cute. And I love how she used our bubble background die to create a really cool magical sky too. Absolutely stunning. I love how Elena added this really cool shading to her frog box and actually drew in the eyes for him. And then that little kiss me speech bubble. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I love this guy so much. He would be such a cute little party decoration. Here, Leticia got super creative and added the frog to the front of a tote bag. I think that looks so much fun and I can't wait to do that with other tiny gift box characters. And Yanea had a similar idea with our awesome goodie bag die. And you can see that this frog is sitting on that leaf from the ladybug and leaf. So cool, so fun. And I love that she used the new textured dot cardstock for the tote bag. So I can't wait to see what you guys create with this cute little frog. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.